let's welcome our next performer, Jason Hall. Hey guys, so, well, that was loud. Um, I wrote this uh, today, so forgive me if I have to consult my phone. Um, so, like, I'm a, I'm a sophomore now, and I feel like I've finally gotten used to Yale. Um, I, like, I've, I've gotten into the swing of classes, and I've kind of become acclimated to, like, all the weird, arcane traditions. Um, but uh, one of my one of my sweetmates last year, he was, like, a legacy, and um, the, first, the first Saturday we were here, he, um, you know, I was talking to him, and he was like, I'm on a soads, but on a, uh, it's actually toads, and on a Wednesday it's woads, and like the only thing um, that I could think was like, oh my god, this guy's having a stroke. <laughs> um, I'm kind of an anxious person by nature, and uh, like what that's what that's akin to is like when I'm talking to new people, there's this like voice in my head that's just going. Ah! during the entire interaction. Uh, um, and like, like, from an evolutionary standpoint, it makes sense that like, talking to new people would be difficult. I mean, like, at some point in the Neolithic past, if you got ostracized from your social group, you were gonna die. Like, imagine if every time you said something weird at a party, your face was just immediately mauled by a jaguar. <laughs> Um, you know, and in that way, like, anxiety is kind of vestigial, which is nice, because it's, like, it's very good for me to be able to tell myself that when I'm kind of weird or I dance kind of funny, I'm not immediately going to get disemboweled. Um, uh, you know, and, like, but with, with, even without, like, the constant threat of death in the modern world, it's kind of a scary place, you know? Like, finals are coming up, climate change is running amok, and pumpkin spice Hitler is running for president. <laughs> uh, Trump. Uh, um, so I'm gonna talk about something that's like not from our hateful and violent evolutionary past, like anxiety or Donald Trump, um, and t talk a little bit about um, lame comic book supervillains. <laughs> You know, comic books have been publishing for like a really long time, and like almost a hundred years now, believe it or not. And so like, with just that sheer number of issues, you're gonna get a couple duds. Um, so for every like Joker and Magneto, you have like 15 animal-themed bank robbers that Stanley presumably came up with in a meth-addled fugue state. <laughs> Um, like there's in the 1970s there was this uh, this Spider-Man villain who um, his name was Jackson Wheel and he went by the supervillain name Big Wheel uh, like so <laughs> when he got in trouble with the cops like he did the thing you would expect him to do with his conveniently gimmicky name and built a giant Ferris wheel with machine guns and arms attached. <laughs> um, I. I, I, I don't know how stories about this guy lasted more than two pages because, like, what happens if he makes a really sharp right turn? Does he does he have to wait for the cops to come like tip him back over? Um, there's another guy that uh, that was like in DC Comics. He mostly fought the Flash. His name was like Rainbow Raider, and for um for, because of fen uh, censorship laws at the time, he was definitely not gay. <laughs> Um, and grow, growing up, uh, growing up, he was colorblind, so he made these, uh, he made these goggles that were supposed to, like, help him see in color or something, and instead they shot lasers. <laughs> I, I don't know how you fuck up that bad. <laughs> like, I, I, I feel like supervillains are always, like, stumbling upon these miraculous inventions that would take decades of frantic research in the real life, in the real world. Um, like, if these guys weren't holding up jewelry short stores, we'd definitely have Cold Fusion already. <laughs> um, lastly, there's, uh, there's been, like, some rumors lately that Neil Patrick Harris is gonna be playing the Riddler in the new Batman movie. Woo! Um, and I like every part of that, except that Neil Patrick Harris is playing the Riddler in the next Batman movie. <laughs> um, I just, I, I don't think he's, like, a very compelling character. He's, uh, you know, he, he wants to, like, prove he's smarter than everyone is. He's just, just kind of, like, narcissistic asshole in a green suit that sometimes tells people how to solve his crimes. Um, it's it's kind of like if a section asshole just decided to take up larceny one day. Uh, that's all I got.